So at this point, you have all the foundations set up. And here, my circle should now match yours. As Let me go over out a little bit here. As I increase A, the angle measure, you can see that P is rotating. Right, have two rotations, which is a peak at 10 and a minimum at six. All right, everything's working. I've got my segment set up. Now I wanna create two other variables. Let's have one be called R and let's set R equal to two. That'll be the radius of our circle. And let's create another variable, C. In our case, it's eight. And C will be the distance between P and Q. I put all of my formulas into a folder. And what I would do is I would open that folder up and I would look at all of the coefficients of sine and cosine, all the numbers that appear throughout, and see how they're related to the radius of the circle and the distance between P and Q. And then try and rewrite, delete those numbers and put the variables R and C in with appropriate exponents to see if you can get this thing to work. If it's working, if you've got that going, you're off to a good start. Just remember that we don't want P to sink into the radius of the circle. So you wanna mess with the lower bound and upper bound of C, like how short can this distance be so that that point never dips into the circle.